In this video, we'll look at whether calcium bromide, that's CaBr2, forms ionic or covalent bonds. To do that, we could look at the periodic table divided into metals and nonmetals. So calcium, as we look for calcium, here it is in group two, that's a metal. Bromine, that is a nonmetal. So we have metal and nonmetals that will almost always be ionic bonds. So when calcium and bromine atoms, when they're bonded together, we expect it to be an ionic bond. You might be wondering why we need two bromine atoms. If we look at the periodic table, and here we have the charges listed for each group, again, calcium, that's in group two, calcium forms two plus ions. Bromine forms one minus. We usually just write minus. Since the calcium has a two plus charge, we need two bromines, these two negative charges, to balance that out. That's why we have CaBr2. This positive ion and these negative ions, they're attracted and they form an ionic bond. This is Dr. B answering the question whether CaBr2 is ionic or covalent. It is ionic. Thanks for watching.